Yes, sir. Oh, it's taking drag. It's taking drag. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back, guys, to another insane episode of Insane Catfishing. As you can see, we are officially back into what I like to call the monster's lair. Yes, the mountains. And if you've been following me from the very beginning, then you know that every time we come out here, man, it's some insane, crazy action going on. So today, hopefully we can get up on some major big blue catfish or even some flathead. Right now, the fish are starting to come off the spawn. So hopefully we'll get into something really, really nice. But anyway, let's get to it, guys. Stay tuned and let's get insane with it. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we finally made it to our destination. This right here is what we like to call Donkey Island. That's right, you heard it correct. Donkey Island. And you know why we call it Donkey Island? Because we catch some donkeys out of this part of the water. Yes, sir. Anyway, guys, I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of the gear and we're going to get straight into fishing. So, we're using Sandy Cooper style rigs on three of the rod setups. And we're using the Carolina rig on one of them. So, the rod that's closest to you, the white one, that one is privilege. That one has the Carolina rig set up. All the other ones have the Sandy Cooper style rigs. So, the one closest to privilege, the tall 11 foot rod, the King Cats rod from Bass Pro Shop, that one has the Sandy Cooper style set up with a peg float. Eight odds hook, 80 pound leader line from Cass King, 80 pound braid from Cass King as well. The one right next to Garfield is who we like to call Old Granddaddy. I believe it's an old school Shakespeare rod with the Sandy Cooper style set up as well, except this one has the Demon Dragon on it. That's right, the Demon Dragon from Catfish Connection, Muddy River Edition. Same size hooks, same size line, same size leader line, so on and so forth. Now the one right next to Old Granddaddy, that is Grasshopper. That's right, we call it Grasshopper. That rod is the Catfish Sumo Chopstick Edition, medium heavy. One of my all-time favorites. That as well has the Sandy Cooper style setup, except it has a peg float. Same size hook, same size leader line, same size braid. All right, guys. So now that we got the gear pretty much out of the way, let's get into the bait. What we're using for bait today is live eel. Now, we got the eel live from an international market, and we're going to chop it up, and we're going to put it on the hooks. Now, the reason we use eels so frequently here on the Potomac River is because it's being forged on in the river. That means it's very plentiful, and the fish love it. So, it's one of the top baits that we can use here in the Potomac River to get on these amazing catfish. All right, guys. So, there we go. We got the setup. We got the bait. We got the location. Now, it's time to get into some fish. Unfortunately, as you can see right here, I left one of my PVC pipes in the trunk so i'm using a stick to improvise to hold up privilege hopefully if she doesn't get dragged into the water all right guys let's get to the fishing and let's get insane with it stay tuned for some insane cat fishing action baby oh 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 privilege oh 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 Fish on! Oh. Oh. We almost lost the rod! <laughs> Woo. 
All right, guys. So as you can see clearly in this video, while recording this content, I was also live streaming on TikTok, which is in underscore saying catfishing. Um, and I totally forgot to bring this, I would believe, eight to nine pound catfish over to you guys to show you guys. So ah, bear with me. But overall, it was an awesome catch, man, and an awesome takedown, and an awesome save. And as the saying goes, the show must go on. So let's get back into these fish, man. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, take a drag. Let's take a drag. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we got a decent fish right here. Go. Oh, let's go. Oh, yes, sir. It was take a drag, guys. Oh. Yeah. Woo Let's go. Woo! Yes, sir. Oh, it's taking drag. It's taking drag. Oh, nice. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. A nice little 20 pounder, or maybe 18. We're gonna go with 20. But look at him, beautiful male. He still got the spawning marks on his head. Beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful freaking fish. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait one minute. Let's take a better look at what really just happened. Come on, fishy, fishy. 
Now, right after I give the come on fishy fishy call, you can see here, I try to give some slack into the line by pulling it out and the fish immediately rips the line through my hand, the braided line hey. causing it to burn my hand, bro. Hey. Crazy. You talking about giving the fish call. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. We got us a nice 25 pounder. Easily 25 pounds. Yes, go. Woo! Listen, when I grabbed that rod, the the freaking the, the freaking fish started peel and drag and it literally burnt burnt my hand with the line in my hand. Freaking crazy, guys. Freaking crazy. That's what I'm talking about. We got us a whopper. We got us a whopper. Big fish energy.